Well, we got ourselves a problem. There's apparently a fire in Wheatley at our water treatment plant. Uh, we were initially told to conserve water. Now, Wheatley's about 20 minutes from us, but all our water comes from that way. Uh, we were initially told to conserve water. And then later last night, we got a bulletin out. Actually, it's on social media. Uh, those that didn't have it didn't know. Uh, for a boil water advisory. Now, we have water, so I'm not concerned with that. However, some of our family do not. Now, I got a phone call from Jen this morning telling me that she heard that it's going to be for an extended period of time. Define extended period of time. Is that a day? Two days? Three days? A week? We don't know. But I'm in Windsor today anyways. I'm here at the Superstore. I'm going to go in and get a cartload of water. And bring it out. Just so we have it. And just so anybody else that needs it has it. And uh, we're just going to deal with it. We just boil our water and drink bottled water. And it kind of is what it is. You got to roll with it. All right, we ended up with six cases of the small bottles, four bottles of the four liter bottles. And this here was 249 a case. There's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, 24 bottles of water. So 249 for 24 bottles of water. And we got four four liters. This makes it a little easier to refill and uh, boil water with as opposed to dump out six of these, I can dump out one of these. That's the plan. But you know what makes it all better? More better? Better? You know what makes it... I got nothing. Anyway, coffee. That's what I'm trying to say. Coffee makes everything better. Let's go get one. If you all been around the channel for a while, you may know that I'm a bit of a coffee connoisseur, so to speak. Or a redneck than a connoisseur, but... I'm a coffee redneck. Now, I'm here at McDonald's to get a coffee. It's pretty good coffee, but... Not as good as Flying J. Can I get a medium coffee and one milk? Coffee with the milk? Okay. That is it. That? That's it. No sugar. Because I'm sweet enough. We got another appointment we got to get to. We got to be there by noon. It's currently 5 to 11. I'm going to be a bit early. Not a big deal. But uh, we're going to head towards downtown here. And uh, it's busy. to uh, interrupt that time lapse for a bit of a load shift. I had to throw the anchor out for that red light back there and all six cases of water, boom, to the front of the box. Problem is, I got three fishing rods back there and yes, they were curled up, but they weren't broke. That's the most important thing. I got $20 worth of water, $170 worth of fishing gear in the back. There's no comparison of what's important here. Anyway, let's keep going. Where did that tragedy? Oh, I was gonna cry. I knew when I started today this video is gonna be all over the place, and it is. So right now we're gonna show you a bit of the garden. Grow them in a tote. Look at those peppers. These are potatoes. More peppers. This plant looks like it's not much. It's a tomato plant, obviously, but it keeps giving us tomatoes. What else we got going on? That's a yellow tomato plant. It's uh, just about done. These ones here get split. That's from the hard rain we had. Billy. See, we still got a lot of tomatoes here ready to turn at some point. Lots of peppers. Still confused on the blueberries. Half the blueberries 
<laughs> Apparently they're not blueberries. That's why I'm confused. What are they? Which ones? Raspberries. Raspberries. Okay, that's why I'm confused. They're a raspberry, not a blueberry. We'll move on to the Romas. They're starting to turn over good. We got a bunch of those already. What we're doing is we're taking them when they're not quite red and putting them in the window and let the sun work from there. We got plenty more tomatoes coming in. This one here is pretty much done. Uh, these things here, the sunflowers, I'm not quite sure what's up with them. I got no sunflower seeds. I decided to cut one down just to see what it was. That stock was, stock was as thick as a tree. So we go over here, swim across the pool that ain't there. So she's harvested broccoli already. We see we got another one coming in there. Oh, we got another one coming in here. We did pick that pumpkin over there and we got three or four more that are coming in here as well. So again, grow your own food. Oh, we got cucumbers in coming in down the bottom there. You see that little guy? And we got a few more smaller ones in there that are coming. We can't take that away from you. Let's see what we've got picked so far today. So excluding the peppers. Like these aromas, they'll go in the window. This is what we pulled off this morning. In the house, there's another two or three big baskets full of tomatoes. And the corn here, this is uh, tricolored, bicolored corn. This sweet corn here I got from Farmer Paul. I'm just about to take the husk off it. It is delicious. I was out there yesterday and again, we stood in the field, peeled the corn and ate it right off the plant. If you've never done that, try it. It is just as good, if not better than being cooked. Anyway, I gotta get the rest of this done. Look how beautiful that is. If you can only taste it. We're gonna get in the house, get in some water, and then we're gonna cook that for dinner. No, I won't eat in front of you. I've said it before, I won't eat in front of you, I promise. Uh, where'd our pool go? Yeah, it's gone, it's actually <laughs> right there. And right there. We take our pool down every winter. Uh, I don't think we have to, but we do. And uh, decided that maybe we're going to get a smaller one next year because it's just, as you can see, and you've seen it before, it just takes up the whole backyard. I got grass seed planted where all the straw is. Tried to cover it up with some straw so that the dogs and the birds don't destroy it before I get it done. But uh, we've got pool rolled up. It's got to go in the container. It's all cleaned off. And we're going to pack this up and put this away as well. Just finishing up the edit on this video and I realized I didn't record y'all an intro. Intro. Nope. You got an intro. You can get an outro. So I'm sure you figured out by now that this video is all over the place. It took place over multiple days. One thing I do want to say. Uh, we are in now day three of this water issue. Boil water advisory. There are so many questions and comments and rumors going around the local... Uh, Facebook groups here in our community. Nobody knows which way is up. And I got to say, our municipality is not communicating with the people at all. That is not how you take care of the taxpayers in your community. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. It was kind of all over. The, it wasn't kind of. It was. It was all over the place. And uh, sometimes that's going to happen. So having said all that, get up off the couch, get outside, and enjoy the outdoors. Later. I'm gonna boil some water now.